Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the preceding video, we learnt the structure of benzene. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of benzene and its derivatives and organic chemistry, the links are available in the description below this video. Watch them. In this lesson, we shall learn the aromatic character or aromaticity and Huckel's rule. The criteria for aromaticity. How can we tell whether a compound is aromatic by looking at its structure? In other words, what structural features do aromatic compounds have in common? To be classified as aromatic, a compound must meet certain criteria. These include a molecule must be cyclic, planar, completely conjugated and contain a particular number of pi electrons. Number 1. A molecule must be cyclic. To be aromatic, each p orbital must overlap with p orbitals on two adjacent atoms. The p orbitals on all six carbons on benzene continuously overlap, so benzene is aromatic. The second compound, hexa 135 triene, also consists of six p orbitals, but the two on the terminal carbons cannot overlap with each other, which means it does not possess a ring. So, hexa 135 triene is not aromatic. Number 2. A molecule must be planar. All adjacent p orbitals must be aligned so that the pi electron density can be delocalized. For example, cyclooctatetraene resembles benzene in that it is a cyclic molecule with alternating double and single bonds. It is a tub shaped structure that is not planar structure, so overlap between adjacent pi orbitals is impossible. Therefore, cyclooctatetraene is not aromatic, so it undergoes addition reactions like those of other alkenes. Number 3. A molecule must be completely conjugated. Aromatic compounds must have a p orbital on every atom in the ring. Benzene has a p orbital on every carbon atom, therefore benzene is aromatic. While both cyclohexa 13 diene and cyclohepta 135 triene contain at least one carbon atom that does not have a p orbital, and so they are not completely conjugated and therefore they are not aromatic compounds. And number four, a molecule must satisfy Huckel's rule and contain a particular number of pi electrons. Some compounds satisfy the above three criteria for aromaticity, but still they show none of the stability typical of aromatic compounds. For example, cyclobutadiene is so highly reactive that it can only be prepared at extremely low temperatures. Therefore, it turns out that in addition to being cyclic, planar and completely conjugated, a compound needs a particular number of pi electrons to be aromatic. Huckel's rule or 4n plus 2 rule. All cyclic conjugated molecules have one lowest energy pi molecular orbital and pairs of degenerate molecular orbitals at higher energies. Whether a compound is aromatic or anti-aromatic depends on the number of electrons occupying these molecular orbitals. An aromatic compound has its highest occupied molecular orbitals completely filled with electrons. Therefore, it must have two electrons in the lowest energy molecular orbital plus some multiple of four electrons so that the highest occupied molecular orbitals are filled. Another way of stating this is that it must have an odd number of pairs of electrons, one pair for the lowest energy molecular orbital and an even number of pairs to fill the occupied degenerate molecular orbitals. The criteria for a compound to be aromatic were developed by Erich Huckel. Erich Huckel in 1931 developed a shortcut for predicting which of the annulins and related compounds are aromatic and which are anti-aromatic. An annuline is monocyclic hydrocarbon with alternating single and double bonds, for example benzene, cyclobutadiene, cyclooctatetaine and so on. In using Huckel's rule, we must be certain that the compound under the consideration meets the criteria for an aromatic or anti-aromatic system. To qualify an aromatic or anti-aromatic, a cyclic compound must have a continuous ring of overlapping p orbitals, usually in a planar conformation. Once these criteria are met, Huckel's rule is applied.
Huckel's rule says that if the number of pi electrons in the cyclic system is 4n plus 2, the system is aromatic. If it is 4n, the system is anti-aromatic, where n is an integer commonly 0, 1, 2 or 3. Cyclic fully conjugated planar molecules with 4n plus 2 pi electrons are aromatic. Common aromatic systems have 2, 6 or 10 pi electrons. Anti-aromatic systems might have 4, 8 or 12 pi electrons. The 4n plus 2 rule predicts that cyclic pi systems having 2, 6 and 14 pi electrons will be usually stable that is they will be aromatic. An aromatic compound must contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Cyclic, planar and completely conjugated compounds that contain 4n pi electrons are especially unstable and are said to be anti-aromatic compounds. Huckel's rule refers to the number of electrons, not the number of atoms in a particular ring. Thus, compounds contain 2, 6, 10, 14, 18 and so forth pi electrons are aromatic as shown in the table. Considering aromaticity, all compounds can be classified into aromatic compounds, anti-aromatic compounds and not aromatic or non-aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds are those which are cyclic, planar, completely conjugated compounds with 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Anti-aromatic compounds are those that are cyclic, planar, completely conjugated, composed with 4n pi electrons. And not aromatic or non-aromatic compounds are those that lack one or more of the four requirements to be aromatic or anti-aromatic. Note that the relationship between each compound type and a similar open chained molecule having the same number of pi electrons. An aromatic compound is more stable than a similar acyclic compound having the same number of pi electrons. For example, benzene is more stable than hexa-135 triene. An anti-aromatic compound is less stable than an acyclic compound having the same number of pi electrons. For example, cyclobutadiene is less stable than buta-13 diene. A compound that is not aromatic is similar in stability to an acyclic compound having the same number of pi electrons. For example, cyclohexa 13 diene is similar in stability to cis cis hexa 24 diene, so it is not aromatic. Benzene, cyclobutadiene, and cyclooctatetraene provide clear examples of Huckel's rule. Benzene is 6 anulene. It is a cyclic compound with the ring composed of sp2 hybrid carbon atoms. The molecule can easily achieve a planar structure with a continuous ring of overlapping p orbitals. Benzene has 6 pi electrons, that is, there are 3 double bonds in the classical structure of benzene, so it is a 4n plus 2 pi system with n is equal to 1, that is, 4 into 1 plus 2 is equal to 6. Thus, Huckel's rule predicts benzene to be aromatic. Cyclobutadiene the simplest anulene is 4 anulene or cyclobutadiene. Cyclobutadiene has 4 sp2 hybrid carbon atoms with the 4 unsubstituted p orbitals forming a continuous ring. As there are 4 pi electrons, that is 2 pi bonds in the classical structure, so it is a 4n system with n is equal to 1. Thus, cyclobutadiene is an anti-aromatic and its conjugation should make it less stable. Further, the pi electrons are localized in two double bonds rather than delocalized around the ring as indicated by an electrostatic potential map. It is highly reactive and shows none of the properties associated with aromaticity. Thus, cyclobutadiene is an anti-aromatic system with four pi electrons. Cyclooctatetraene Cyclooctatetraene is 8 anulene. It has 8 pi electrons, that is 4 double bonds in the classical structure, so it is a 4n system with n is equal to 1. Thus, Huckel's rule predicts the cyclooctatetraene is not aromatic but an anti-aromatic compound. However, cyclooctatetraene is a stable hydrocarbon with a boiling point of 153 degrees centigrade. It does not show the high reactivity associated with anti-aromaticity, yet it is not aromatic either. Its reactions are typical of alkenes. 
cyclo octatetraene would be anti aromatic if huckel's rule is applied so the conjugation of its double bonds is energetically unfavorable remember that huckel's rule applies to a compound only if there is a continuous ring of overlapping p orbitals usually in a planar system cyclo octatetraene is more flexible than cyclo butadiene and it assumes a non planar tub conformation that avoids most of the overlap between adjacent pi bonds thus huckel's rule simply does not apply like cyclo octatetraene larger anilines with foren systems do not show anti aromaticity because they have the flexibility to adopt non planar conformations even though 12 aniline 16 aniline and 20 aniline are foren systems with n is equal to 3 4 and 5 respectively they all react as partially conjugated polyenes aromaticity in the larger foren plus 2 anilines depend on whether the molecule can adopt the necessary planar conformation in the all cis 10 aniline the planar conformation requires an excessive amount of angle strain The 10 aniline isomer with two trans double bonds cannot adopt a planar conformation either because two hydrogen atoms interfere with each other. Neither of these 10 aniline isomers is aromatic even though each has 4n+2 pi electrons where n is equal to 2. If the interfering hydrogen atoms in the partially trans isomer are removed, the molecule can be planar. when these hydrogen atoms are replaced with a bond the aromatic compound naphthalene results some of the larger anilines with 4n+2 pi electrons can achieve planar conformations for example 14 aniline and 18 aniline have aromatic properties thus huckel's rule is used to determine whether the aniline is aromatic or anti aromatic it merely limits the rule to compounds of this type There are thousands of aromatic compounds that are not monocyclic for example naphthalene and related polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons all compounds based on benzene rings are aromatic cyclic conjugation is a requirement for aromaticity however in those cases the conjugated system must contain 4n+2 electrons cyclic conjugated systems with 4n electrons are anti aromatic In the next section we will explore Huckel's rule for values of n greater than 1 to see how it can be extended beyond cyclobutadiene benzene and cyclooctatetraene This is the list of references followed for the lesson That's all in this video the aromatic character and Huckel's rule In the next lesson we will discuss the reactions of benzene till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos Thank you for watching this video.